I was one of the first black Marines. I started World War II. I am trying to get some kind of funds going. I've been struggling in life off of Social Security, trying to make a living. It's just a rough life. I heard on the grapevine that there was an organization called Stand Down. And I said, well, maybe they might do something for this old goat. It's called Stand Down because it's a term borrowed from Vietnam. When soldiers came out of the field combat, they would come back to base, they would get showers, haircuts, fresh clothes, hot food, and get to relax. It's an opportunity for a veteran who has been suffering or is, has been marginalized to come to a safe place where they can be treated with dignity, with respect. You know, no longer is it about where you're from, it's about uh, your service to this country. You have a story, and especially if you're a veteran and done things that no average person knows, there's pride in that, and sometimes that pride goes away. You need to seriously think about coming to the stand down. We want you there because we can really help you. We invited a bunch of vendors and service providers from the county, the state, and federal agencies. Obviously want to show our appreciation to the, uh, the numerous organizations that are here stepping up. You're going to expect a lot of vendors, a lot of help. Part of our organization is to help veterans who are either homeless or on the verge of becoming homeless to get gainful employment. Many of the veterans are not prepared to go into a certain uh, field of work. So we try to prepare them. Here I'm a realtor, a local realtor, and we're just letting uh, veterans know about how they can get some benefits. We're here just trying to help them understand what it's gonna take to get them into the road of home ownership. Here I'm standing in front of the UC Santa Cruz Micropod. It's a multi-use tiny house. Our goal is to provide solutions for the critical homeless issues that we have here. My father was a Vietnam veteran and now I know he probably died from the effects of Agent Orange. So I'm on a mission to educate as many veterans as possible. We provide peer support based on principles of narration therapy. These people don't quite know what to do with themselves when they get back into a civilian world and so this helps kind of get them prepared for that. It helps cut down on the large number of suicides on PTSD. Okay, this, this is a clothing issue building. It's like a warehouse full of clothes. They got you cut from shoes, toiletries. Whatever your basic needs are, they cover it right here in this building. What's going on in here is dental and medical. These doctors come from all over Monterey County and they're volunteering. We have the best here. They're doing extractions. Well, tell me what you did today. Six feet pulled out today. Cleanings, checking, checkups, fillings. They told me about dentures, which I badly needed. They're coming back for podiatry, for aches and pains. We have legal services. We've got a great team with uh, our courts, our public defender. Uh, pro bono attorneys, We've got the, the judges that come here. We've got to see the lawyers and then the judge and that was that. Um, the stand down in its four years has resulted in more than a million dollars in fines, penalties and other misdemeanor issues waived, which allows the veteran to fully reintegrate back into the community. What I think is the best thing is that they let the homeless guys stay here for three days so they don't have to be going back and forth. You know, they sleep here, they feed them everything. The other services we provide is massage therapy, we have barbers and stylists doing haircuts. One question we get asked a lot is, how can I help? You know, it, it, this is not an inexpensive event for a nonprofit to operate. 100% of every dollar received, every donation given, and every grant applied and received for supports veterans. Please volunteer, donate. We need it badly. My favorite part about it is all of these veterans coming up to you with tears in their eyes thanking you just because they hadn't showered in a week or they were hungry or they have a suitcase full of clothes that they never would have gotten without you. Knowing that you helped at least that one person is the best feeling and the best high you can ever imagine. That money actually goes, you can physically see it going to somebody. It's that shirt on that guy's back, that was that money, money that you donated. That can't happen if it's not for the support of the community. 
I, I never thought I was going to get off the street, and it's possible. There's a lot of help for veterans. They're your kids and my kids. They're all our kids. We continue to ask for your support so that we can continue to serve those who serve us.